Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are well. So today uh, we'd like to talk about TOLS exam and you have asked me many questions about TOL exam. I have summarized all of them at the same time I have added several uh, queries, several facts that I believe you should know before sitting the exam. So these are the questions that I will mm, gonna address today like uh, what is TOLS exam, what are the syllabus and uh, what are the different types of TOLS exam and their purposes and how how much or how long time you should invest you know, before sitting the exam whether you can admit it uh, without the TOLS exam or not so this uh, stuff I gonna address today and how they evaluate the uh, your answer whether any negative marks or not or how about the questions um, is that same for all applicants or different so we'll learn about it okay so this our first two questions like what is the toll system and what are the different uh, different types of toll system and their purposes so tolls exam actually is the vital requirement for italian universities italian university uh, they ask for an admission based on the subject you are applying for so if you apply for computer science for example or or mechanical engineering or some other science which is related to engineering and technology you have to uh, get uh, give a tolls i okay and if you are applying for economics and finance or business management then you have to meet the tolls e tolls f for pharmacy chemistry and other science related fields so whenever an announcement uh, is announced by the particular university and of course you will look for a specific subjects so if you read the details if you read the requirements you will find what kind of tools you have to give and this is the three types that actually can be uh, can be given by English okay and others there are other tolls exam too like tolls uh, tolls a b tolls uh, uh, different kind of uh, there are many actually but those are in Italian language so uh, most of the foreign students they get admitted the, uh, this kind of subjects and they, are, they actually give uh, these three types of tolls okay what is the syllabus of TOLS exam? So TOLS exam syllabus depends on the type of TOLS. Okay. So if you sit for TOLS I, then uh, syllabus uh, is kind of like little different from others TOLS E or TOLS F because TOLS I is a specific, a specifically focused on engineering related subjects. So there will be more mathematic questions. If you see here, uh, this is the question a structure for tolls i mm. most of the questions like 20 questions comes from uh, mathematics and it's you will be given 15 minutes so that means 2.5 minute per questions and logic science and reading comprehensions uh, covers 30 questions 10 for each and you will be given equal time 20 minutes for all cases so in total 110 minutes and total questions is 15 uh, 50 uh, so uh, this this is the link where uh, you will find the syllabus detailed syllabus and questions structure so I also uh, try to give you a hints for example these are the um, uh, titles of the chapters or main point of uh, of tolls i uh, usually for logic and reading comprehension there are no syllabus so they will um, make some questions based on uh, based on the things around us they will test your uh, iq they will judge how well you are in english and in critical uh, solving um, like problem solving techniques and this green color actually represents the mathematics like a syllabus of mathematics 
so if you want to see the details then i i would suggest you to go to the links and these links will be added in the description box so you can just click and you can see the details of these levels these are from physics and these are from uh, science like chemistry uh, yeah chemistry mostly okay so second question was how much time should i allocate for tulsi preparation it actually depends if you are from uh, a background like english like if you're uh, 11 12th grade or until 12th grade you have studied in english then it would be very easier for you and if you are from different background like if you studied in native language in that case it may take a little longer time but do not worry i think two to three months is enough okay this is the average time i don't think you need more than that time okay uh, if you studied hard and practice a lot of problems and uh, try to understand the basics i think two three months is good enough time is it possible to secure admission without tools uh, yes it's possible but uh, if you think that without any kind of admission you want to admit in university i think that's impossible because every university has admission requirements either it's tolls or any other uh, any other uh, systems for example Politecnico di Torino they accept SAT ACT GMAT instead of TIL okay so TIL is an exam which uh, which was developed by Politecnico di Torino because this is a engineering based or engineering specialized universities so uh, there are cases uh, TIL exam is more difficult or more harder more hard than tolls i so polytechnic di torino do not accept tolls but you have to give the a, a similar online exam that is called til okay so til i is for uh, for computer science there are different types but you can check okay and uh, some other universities may accept sat act gre gmat if you have but i think those exams are more difficult than tolls so but if you have if you have you can check the websites uh, you can ch check uh, the particular uh, university that you are you are applying and then you will find the information what kind of exams they are accepting what is the minimum acceptable score for tolls by italian universities so first of all the pass mark is 18 out of 15 uh, but i would say to see your name on the ranking list i would recommend 25 plus marks like more than 50 percent is good enough and uh, overall marks like out of 100 you have to obtain 50 plus marks so how the make the 100 because um, your previous exam results like your ssc or acc or a level o level test uh, results and uh, other factors they will come they will assess uh, your all documents and they will uh, give you some numbers so if it is 50 plus then it's very good enough to see your name on the link on the ranking list are there tolls courses available in english yes practice materials you can find it on cgia website okay so this is the official website who arranged the tolls exam if you go there uh, you have to create an account i have uh, i have already made a video on it so you can you can watch it and you can find a necessary instruction and also I, uh, I think if you register for an exam in that case you can have more materials for practice but those practice materials are not enough I, uh, most of the cases but you will find there more practice materials in Italian language so if you use translator you can practice
I exam recognized by all Italian universities. Uh, yes, most of the cases, most of the universities they accept TOLSAI. What universities do not have TOLS exams? For example, Politecnico di Torino, they do, they do not have TOLS exam. They have their own version of the admission test. They have TIL, I already told you. So for getting more information on it, just uh, take a look on the Politecnico di Torino website, you will find it. I studied a different medium than English, so how can prepare for the TOLS exam? So in that case, I would suggest you to make a list of diff different term, different terminologies from math mathematics and memorize them. Okay, because those terms actually repetitive, whatever they make, the questions might be different or, but the terminology, the term they use will be always same. So in that case, you can recall them and practice as much as you can. More and more practice means you will remember those term. And another suggestion, like you can go your local library and you can find some books like math, physics, chemistry, like uh, uh, written in English, like English medium books. So those books will be helpful to understand the same thing what you have done in 11 12th grade but uh, in english when you will study it will be clear like a different term for example uh, this is a right right angle triangle right uh, right angle triangle okay so uh, who are in native uh, like uh, some of some of you who studied in native language you may not know how you call the distance of this in your uh, in English or we call it right angle maybe you use different language so this term you have to memorize how can I register for TOLS exam so you have to register by this website CISIA and here are the links I put it on uh, description box to find it if you visit this link you will find different box like for TOLS exam, for TOLS I, for TOLS E. So you have to first select either TOLS I or TOLS E. Then you will find a table like this. So in the table, the university name is given in the first column. Then the region or foreign country is given in the second column and center name here and format whether it's a home or on side so if you are from foreign country of course you will select home not the on site because on site uh, actually you have to come at the university they will provide you the laptops and uh, all the equipments so you will just uh, use their equipments and you will complete your exam how many times i can sit for the exam uh, it depends for example in case of Politecnico di Torino, you can give till exam three times. In case in first attempt, you couldn't get good marks. So of course, you can uh, decide to have another. You can try for second. And if still, if you are not satisfied, then you can try for third, but more than three, you cannot, okay? So uh, you have to, I recommend you to visit the a specific university where you are applying and you will find the information evaluate answer so answer evaluated uh, right after your uh, examination by computer okay and um, for is correct answer you will obtain on marks and if you do not answer in that case zero but if you make a wrong answer in that case negative 0 0.25 and our uh, yeah okay next cases are questions same for all participants who makes the questions uh, actually uh, the questions are not same like uh, 
uh, the participants uh, have different questions like uh, uh, if uh, in a center 30 participants sit for the exam there will be 30 questions and all are auto generated by the computer the computer actually use uh, resources from their systems and automatically create questions but don't worry the difficulty difficulty level are the same so we don't need to worry about it all will be the same what are the requirements for for, uh, for registration uh, just uh, you have to pass uh, 12th grade uh, class like uh, 12 yep uh, like um, uh, this is the basic requirements sometimes if you don't put the information that you completed 12th grade then the system may refuse uh, for registering so you have to be careful and what is the how long the validity it's uh, at least one year how many those exam i can register for at the same time at the same time you can register as much as you want but you can't register at the same time same type of exam for example you cannot register tolls i uh, two tolls exam at the same time if you finish the exam right after the exam you can uh, you can register another one but at the same time you cannot but at the, uh, at the same time you can register for tolls i tolls e tolls f it's not a problem how much is the fee is 30 euro okay so this was the uh, tutorials today I, I i hope that you have enjoyed and you have learned uh, several facts about the tolls exam if you still have some questions write on the comment box and of course i am reminding you again please like uh, and share with your friends with your colleagues and so that uh, it gives uh, it will it can give me motivation to create more for you so have a good time see you again thank you so much